Hi, I'm Steve Logoni and I'm here at the shop in the wood turning store. And the video here today is going to be some close-ups of how to do the push cut on a small walnut bowl. So here we have a walnut bowl. It's been it's been turned already uh, a little bit. It's about six or seven inches in diameter. Surface finish is, is good right now. That was already done with the push cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rough up that surface and I'm going to do that with a scraper. So, uh, let's fire up the lathe. Just going to come in with a scraper. Okay. So there's the surface with the scraper. Not bad, but we'll get better than that. Okay, so I'm going to try and show some close-up tool work here because a lot of guys in the club ask me, you know, what's the tool position? How do you hold it? How do you hold the gouge itself? Is it like this? Is it like this? What's the position? During the push cut, we're going to try and cut at about the 11 o'clock, right in the 11, 12 o'clock position, right in there. So here we go. using the robust uh, external curved tool rest. Trying to do the whole cut in one arcing motion. Trying not to do this, trying to bring a complete curved, single curved motion. Let's take a look at that finish. Okay, finish is nice. A little bit of coloration change here because the end grain is wet, but the texture is, is the same texture as this, which is very good. Let's try it again. And get that speed up. You can see I'm cutting just below the center of the tool. There it is. Nice clean finish. Normally I'd have a three-point stance like this. I'm standing back a little bit because I have a camera right over here. I don't want to get in the way of the camera. But normally it would be a move like this. Okay. Really nice finish. Ready for some fine sandpaper. Okay, so I hope that showed you the position of the push cut on the outside of a bowl. I'm Steve Fulgoni at the Wood Turning Store Shop. Thanks again for watching.